A couple weeks ago, I did some testing with my Raspberry Pi 4 and external USB drives. I found a USB 3 SSD was 10 times faster than the fastest micro SD card that I tested. But in the comments on that video, Brad Mansky mentioned something that I'd never even thought about. He noticed I was using an Inatech USB enclosure that didn't have UASP support. But what is UASP? And what can it do to make a Raspberry Pi faster? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Without UASP, a drive is mounted as a mass storage device using Bulk Only Transport, or BOT, a protocol that was designed for transferring files way back in the USB full speed days, back when the Bondi Blue iMac made waves with its fancy new USB 1.1 ports. Back then, the fastest speed you could get was a whopping 12 megabits. With USB 3.0, the BOT protocol holds back the performance you get with 5 gigabits of bandwidth. That's 400 times more bandwidth than full speed USB. The old BOT protocol would transfer data in large chunks and each chunk of data had to be delivered in order, without buffering and without parallel data transfer. So along with USB 3.0, a new protocol is created called USB Attached SCSI Protocol, or UASP. I won't get too technical here, but the SCSI protocol has been around for a really long time. Long enough that it was part of a joke in this 1994 Dilbert comic, which is linked in the description. It has features like allowing data to be copied in parallel, or copying data out of order so the drive can use buffering and caching for better performance. Anyways, around the time USB 3.0 was introduced, most USB storage devices and adapters for hard drives started adopting this new standard. USB 2.0 computers could even take advantage of UASP if they had the right firmware, but most older computers didn't ever get an update, so you'll mostly see it on computers with USB 3.0 ports. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Going back to Brad's comment on my Pi SSD video, I replied to Brad that I didn't even realize that I had the non-UASP UASP version of the Inatech case. So I ordered the UASP version and waited for it to arrive. And when it did arrive, I tried to see what was different about it. In this picture, you can see the cases just look identical. And if we look at the bottom, the only difference is one additional letter in the model number. It's not really obvious which case supports UASP. The differences are only really apparent if you take the thing apart and look at the actual circuit board. I took both of them apart and you can see the older non-UASP version on the top left and the UASP version on the bottom right. The UASP version has a completely different layout and uses a different controller chip. If you have a USB drive and don't want to take it apart and look up the specs of the controller chip that are on it, the only reliable way to tell if it's being mounted with UASP support or not is to plug it into your Pi, then run the command lsusb-t. This command lists all the USB devices in a tree, and for each of the hard drives, you should see a driver listed. If it's UAS, then your drive supports UASP, and you'll get the best speed. If it's USB-storage, then it's using the older bot protocol, and you won't see the full potential. I also had two other old SATA adapters that I've used over the years for computer repair, and I wanted to see if they also supported the protocol. I checked this inland adapter that I bought from Micro Center, and it does support UASP, which was a surprise since Micro Center's website showed the data transfer rate under the specs as up to 480 megabits, which is USB 2.0. Then I checked this StarTech adapter that I bought in 2015, and it also supports USB. So it looks like most newer USB 3.0 adapters do support it, but it's not really easy to see in the specs whether a device supports it. So you might have to do your own testing. Even though Raspberry Pis older than the Pi 4 only have USB 2.0 ports, I also wanted to check if they might support USB, because as we'll see in a minute, just having USB makes a huge difference in performance. But after testing with all my adapters, I found they all mounted the drive using the USB storage driver on my Pi 3B Plus. I was trying to find any word about the Pi 3B Plus firmware supporting UASP, but all I could find was a reference in a forum post to the Pi's USB driver not supporting it. So if you have an older Raspberry Pi, your options for fast external storage are really limited. I'd stick with the Pi 4 if you want to do anything that requires data transfer, like building a NAS, or setting up Nextcloud, or using it for backups, or using it for media streaming. But finally, the benchmarks I'm going to show you show just how big a difference UASP makes when you use it with a drive on the Raspberry Pi 4. Across the board, UASP makes a huge difference. At the top, there are benchmarks for HDParm and DD, which test large file transfers. These show 50 and 40% speedups. 
At the bottom, there are 4K random access benchmarks, which are better measurements for how fast the drive performs when you're using the Pi itself. And UASP still makes a huge impact. Random reads are 35% faster, and random writes are 20% faster. But I wanted to check something else too. Does more efficient data transfer make any difference in how much power the Pi needs for USB? For many Pi projects, it's important to try to use less power, especially if you're running off a battery or off solar panels. And in this benchmark, using the Seitechi USB-C power tester, I measured an 8% power savings using UASP. That means you'd get 8% more runtime on a battery if you're doing lots of file transfers. As with all my benchmarks, I ran every benchmark four times, discarding the first result. And I talked a lot about my benchmarking technique in the last Raspberry Pi cluster video, which you can see by clicking the card that's right above me. So in the end, my advice is always use UASP with the USB 3.0 devices on the Pi 4. Otherwise, you're missing out on a lot of performance potential. Also, remember to plug USB 3.0 devices into the blue USB 3.0 ports and not into the black 2.0 ports. Otherwise, you won't see any performance difference at all. Now, what about USB flash drives or thumb drives like this Arcanite AK58 drive? Do they support UASP? If you want to find out, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do another video soon discussing all the different storage options for a Raspberry Pi 4, and I'll talk about USB flash drives, SSDs, microSD cards, and even some other possibilities if you replace the USB 3.0 controller. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more like it, please consider sponsoring me on GitHub or supporting me on Patreon. There are links in the description below. Until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling.